Now, one of the other comments we got on the NPR article was, oh, what is this pseudoscience with the ring launcher and fake aluminum rings? Okay. Understand that in the NPR article, the guy was here for an hour and a half and recorded that entire conversation and had to edit that down to four minutes, so he didn't get to explain everything. The ring launcher is not pseudoscience. It's actually very simple science, and here's how it works. This is the ring launcher, and these are the rings it launches. What these are are aluminum discs coated in iron oxide, and any of the computer geeks are familiar with these. These are, these are hard drive platens. This is uh, inside your computer. You've heard the term hard disk. This is the actual hard disk in your computer. If you have an old computer, they look like that. Now here's what the ring launcher is. You have a power supply right there that puts electricity through a switch and charges three capacitors. These are the exact same capacitors we use in Project Thumper. When, the relay, when you let go of the button and the relay trips up, it dumps the power from the capacitors through a little tiny coil right here. There's, a, there's a, a coil of magnet wire. It looks to be about 12 gauge. Now when that happens, it, cre it turns this into an electromagnet for a very short period of time. It gets a big pulse of energy. Now that creates an electromagnetic field that comes out, and if you put a disk of aluminum, which is not magnetic, you'll notice these don't stick together at all. But any time you have uh, a conductor with electricity flowing through it, it creates a magnetic field. So this conductor with electricity going through it creates a magnetic field. And when you put this, which conducts electricity very well but isn't magnetic on its own, in that field, this magnetic field from here induces a charge in here. So this, there's actually electricity flowing through this. It, it uses inductive coupling. When that happens, the electromagnetic charge in this ring is the opposite of the electromagnetic field here. So you have two opposing electromagnetic fields. And the way it works is you charge it up. I'm holding down the button, and that's putting electricity into here. We're storing energy in the capacitors. And when I let go of the button, the switch here will trip. You'll see a little flash of light. And the energy from these will be dumped into the ring. And it goes, bing, and it flies. That's it. It's a ring launcher. It's very simple physics. It's electricity in action. We have a little thing here because there's, there's a, a high current pulse when it does that and sometimes it welds the contacts together so you, you tap this to make sure they're free. Now look, you press the button down, the relay closes, the electricity goes into the capacitors. You give it a few seconds to charge and do its thing and when you let go, there's your ring. Just like that. It's simple. There's nothing moving here. Okay, I'll, I'll do it. We'll, we'll zero it out. Now watch right here. Without the ring, watch really close. It's magical. See? Nothing happens. Nothing moves. Nothing leaves. It's, done, it's, an electro, it's an electromagnetic field. If I put, I don't know, two rings. Here's two rings. We'll put two on there. We'll put three. We'll put four. Okay? We'll put a bunch of rings on there. Now I'll charge it up. We'll give it a few seconds. It's doing its thing. It's just a little laptop power brick that we use to charge it. Okay? And then... See? They launch! It's a ring launcher. It really works. What happens if we put a whole bunch on there? Let's put, let's put a stack of them on there. I'll bet it, I don't know if it'll do them all. I've never tried this many before. Let's see what happens. It's research. Research is what we're doing when we don't know what we're doing. Okay, you ready? And... Yep. Launches all of them. Works great. Here, let's put a big one on there. We'll, we'll grab a handful more. We'll just... It's not pseudoscience. It's not fake. Nothing here is fake. Nothing here is CGI. All the sparks are real. All the lightning's real. All the rings are real. It's science, man. It's, it's all about getting people excited and building stuff. That's what we do. You need to come here and get excited and get involved. You feel like one of those carnival workers, don't you? You're just... <laughs> I'm Chris Bowden with the Geek Group. Everything you've seen here is real. No Vincents were harmed in the making of this video. You guys have fun. We'll have more for you next time. More information on the web at www.thegeekgroup.org. Get involved. Fill out a membership application. Come be a part of our organization. We'd love to have you. See ya.